If the light changes, it's only because it's really cloudy and the cars are loud today. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about five products or makeup products that I don't buy anymore. I just watched my last video of this kind and it was like in December of 2017 so it has been way overdue since I did this kind of video and I asked you guys if you wanted to see this and most of you said yes because I did a poll on four videos that I have thought about doing and you guys said this was the one you rather wanted to see so here we are I have written down five categories or items in my kind of makeup stash that I don't want to buy anymore and the first one is liquid highlighters slash illuminators you can put those in the same category because it kind of does the same thing kind of right I have had I have some liquid highlighters in my collection and they are big dang I have and I have used up a few liquid highlighters but what I always end up doing is to put it in my body lotion so it doesn't really make sense for me to buy them the ones I have, I didn't buy because I got sent them when I was a WCM ambassador. So I I would not have them in my collection if I hadn't been an ambassador for W7. So I have some Beam Me Up highlighters. I have some, mm, what was it called? The one that I had in my panning games, Glow Ghoul. Um, they were liquid highlighters and illuminators. Yeah, the, the one in Pang Games I put in a body lotion sometimes. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it as a first step after primer, you know, to like illuminate your skin. I don't like that. I, I don't find it necessary to cover up cover it up with foundation because it doesn't shine through the foundation on me. So I, and, and on my body, I, I rarely use them. I, I rarely use them. I, I like a powder or a cream. That is my go-to. I don't like the liquid because I can't work with it. It, it. it breaks up my makeup that I have laid down. So I don't like it. <laughs> so that's just not an option for me to buy because I just get more mad at the product than I am enjoying the process of using it. That leaves me to the next category and that is body shimmers. Unschuld Felix. Good night. Last time Felix was in here was on Sunday and he made a mess in here. So body shimmers. I don't like them. <laughs> well yeah. Okay that's a little bit of a lie. I really like the finish and the result that I get from a body shimmer. I don't like the process of putting them on because then my hands are covered in glitter shimmer thingies and I can't get that off and then it transfers everywhere and yes I do wash my hands afterwards but it, it doesn't get off and I, I even put this in a body lotion and I don't know if you can see the shimmers probably not but they are really shiny and that is for the glitter please let's give it a again I have just put a body shimmer that I have in my Harry Potter project pan. I just put that into a body lotion that I've just told you guys that leaves every gl gl glitter everywhere anyway. Um, and then I have two more in my collection. <sighs> that cat cannot leave me alone when I want to film. And if I, put, if I take him in, I am distracted by him. He ruins my, my plant. And the thing I have here that you can't see. Should we let him in? I'm going to try. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. Come here. Come here, see hi. Spoiled. Spoiled, spoiled, spoiled. Body shimmers. I have two more in my collection and I'm just going to put them in my body lotion that I'm trying to use regularly. 
and that is just how I'm going to use it up. I prefer the body shimmers in the summertime because my skin is shown. Right now I'm wearing a dress, but in the summertime I prefer them. So next year. <laughs> the next product that I'm not going to buy anymore, that is silicone primers. I prefer a creamy primer because the silicone primers just puts a film on my... Ow! It just bit me. Ow. That hurt. <laughs> so, because the silicone primers just leave a film on my face and on my hands and I can't stand the feeling of silicone primers on my hands. I'm going to tell myself <laughs> this and I'm trying to stick to it. I only want to buy a primer if I can test it out first. Like in Denmark there's a tester for a certain product and then you can test how the product is before you buy it. I really really like that because then you can test if this primer is silicone based or not and I do prefer the not silicone based. I just filmed a video on my Max Factor and Curl Curl primer comparison and uh, these are not silicone based and that is my favorite primer at the moment. Really sad you can't get the cover code primer in Denmark, but that's not the point. The point is no silicone primers is going into my collection anymore and I can add to that. That is kind of a sixth category. I'm not going to buy any more cruelty free products and I'm really excited about that. It is a struggle sometimes to find a product, but it is also really exciting to like investigate. That is loud investigate the makeup community uh, lines in uh, the certain brands and see what is cool free or not. Does that make sense? It's really really exciting. The next two categories that I have written down on my list are lip products categories. The first one is weird colored lippies. I have done a video where I showed my collection of fun and weird colored lippies in my collection just lippies in general and there I showed you a bunch of lippies that I don't wear that I'm afraid of panning and that are just not in my head work and everyday appropriate even the lippie that I have on now is kind of bold and orange more in real life than on camera apparently I find that bold and that is just an orange. I have blues and greens and everything in my collection that is kind of weird and holographic and shimmery. I, I rather want to wear this than, than a blue lip gloss. So um, I'm not going to buy any, the, any more of those, never again. I bought the green and blue lip gloss most for fun and I wanted to experiment a little bit with my fun side if I didn't go anywhere. I'm not going to buy any weird colored lippies anymore. Uh, I'm not going to buy black. I'm not going to buy... I have a gray. No more grays, no more greens, no more blues. Purple, maybe, because that can be wearable, but I just rather want to have a red, orange, nude, something like that, because I wear those and I feel comfortable in those. I rather want to experiment with my eye makeup than my lipstick and blush for that matter. And the last one I have is lip toppers. I have a bunch of lipstick toppers. I have a bunch of lipstick, lip gloss toppers and that is just shimmery with a hint of something color. I have some lipstick toppers that have a shift of blue and green. Again, I, I don't wear them. I don't I don't wear them on a daily basis because I just don't think of oh I want to have a green shift on my lips today. That is just in, not in my mind. So I really want to challenge myself and put them in some projects and here and there, but I'm not going to buy them again. Well, I didn't buy them. The ones I have is from W7 and I got them in PR. So they made me realize that I don't want them in my collection. I don't want to buy them with my own money. It's a good thing that I got them in PR that I realized that those products aren't for me. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit of a longer one. 14 minutes, that's fine. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and a little bit of Felix. Will you say hi Tina? Right. Let me show you him afterwards. So I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did give it a like, subscribe down below if you are new here. I do a lot of pretty panning these types of videos. I talk a lot about makeup and fashion and decor and house things and life and I hope you guys enjoyed and until my next video, take care. And the car is saying bye too. Bye.
Just taking a shower. Now you look cute, but when I was filming, you were c eating everything. I do so now. Nice can. Yeah, do I so? Mom, please, I'm taking a shower. Please stop. Bye.